That's awesome. Oh man! Oh, that's, that's killer. Sweet. Home to more shoreline than the entire state of California, Fort Peck Reservoir has secured its reputation as one of the toughest and most productive fisheries in the state of Montana. But every angler must come prepared to face tough conditions on and off the water. see marks on it like above so this is sonar and this is imaging so those are bait fish After a tough start, we were able to figure out the pattern and land a couple of the fish Fort Peck is known for. It's a great looking jig. big piece of water for those waves to build. Yes. Montana is full of surprises, and not surprisingly, that includes the weather. Unable to launch the boat due to high winds, we set our sights for late summer, and weather permitting, we'd be targeting big pike on the fly. I think we have to abort this mission. We've got a little too much, uh, a little too much wind. It's almost like the ocean today. So, I think we're gonna find a different piece water. You guys want me to crack the egg? 
right in there for a scramble or you want to fry it over the top of it? Howdy folks, Jody Marler with Fish Camp and today we are on Fort Peck and we are going to be throwing flies for pike. Last time we were here at this very same spot, the wind was just rolling from the north. I think that was in May and uh, couldn't even put on. Boat would have got swamped. So here we are, haven't been here since. It's mid-August at this point, mid to late. And been thinking about these big pike since last year. So today we're gonna try to get some big pike on flies. Matt here is going to see what he could do as well. <laughs> you know, like saying, so first spot we're at, this is usually kind of my first spot here. Uh, it's, it's a rocky point that comes out into the main lake, but there's a, this big flat up here that has a ton of weeds. So this time of the year, what I've found over the years is these pike will just lay on the edges of these weeds and just basically pick off bait fish. So, you know, and we're throwing streamers. We've got sinking line and floating line. It's kind of the perfect day with this little bit of cloud cover. So, um, definitely gonna throw some surface uh, flies as well. And we'll just see if we can move some fish. Um, again, throwing streamers. The great thing about fly fishing with streamers is you're moving fish and just to see those fish chasing the flies is pretty awesome so hopefully we can make it happen. So this rod, this is a nine weight, um, big fly, uh, 80 pound fluoro on this, about a three foot leader. To, uh, I think this is probably a 30 foot sink tip. So this should definitely move some fish. With an overcast day and a small breeze, the trip looked like it was going to produce. But after cast after cast and stripping thousands of yards of line, Fort Peck proved why it can be one of the toughest fisheries. Like always, persistence is key, and you certainly wouldn't have a chance of catching anything if you would have stayed home. Uh, but why didn't he hit it back there? Maybe he wanted it faster. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got him, you yep. got him. Yeah, don't try to get him. I'm feeling real busy. Yep. Yeah, 
you gotta try to pour some in out of the weeds. Tough times on Fort Peck. So basically a day and a half yesterday, we moved a few fish in the only weed patch we found. Went there this morning at the Kraken 9 and somebody was already in it and they just hounded it. We could not find another weed patch. So finally, before pulling camp, went back and started moving a bunch of fish. And Jim here, Jeff, Greg, Matt, 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 <laughs> Matt caught, uh, landed one, had a really nice one on. Um, we definitely hooked quite a few, just wasn't in it today. The water is so high, um, probably 10 feet higher than normal. And I don't know, just couldn't locate the weeds and it is what it is. So something to think about all winter long. <laughs> subscribe. See ya. <laughs>